my flight back home to Atlanta has been canceled. Now I have an extra two days in Rome. Luckily for me, I have a friend who happens to be teaching here in Rome for the next four months, so I'm actually going to stay with him. He's got some pretty swanky digs here. So I've rinsed out some clothes. They're drying here. While it snows back home in Atlanta, it's almost 70 here in Rome today. So I'm going to catch a few rays and then take the camera and go out and see what's happening in Rome on a most fantastic day. Ciao. Oh. La dolce vita, no? Mmm. It's still a beautiful day here in Rome. It's time for lunch. I stopped by a little pizzeria and bought a slice of prosciutto and potato pizza, which happens to be one of my favorite types of pizza here in Italy. And of course, I thought maybe I'd take a moment to sit and outside the Colosseum and uh, eat my pizza. Buono. If you thought Caesar and the gladiators were dead, they're not. They're there working the tourists. Nothing's changed outside the Colosseum over these thousands of years. People are still working the crowd for some money outside the Colosseum. Here is a view of the Forum. That happens to be the Senate building right there where Caesar used to meet with the senators. And I am going to work my way up to the top of there, there's a viewing deck on top of the wedding cake, the um, memorial to uh, Victorio Emanuele. I'm gonna go up there and we'll shoot some of uh, Rome. What I like about Rome, well, actually about all of Italy, is that you can go to the top of things, towers, church domes, government buildings, to get a great view of Rome. Literally, this is a bird's eye view of Rome. I'm here at the Rome Center, which is an architectural school for the University of Arkansas and Auburn University, and I'm going in to see my friend, and I thought I'd just show you his fantastic, or the school's fantastic interior courtyard. Hi, I'm here with Francesco Badeschi. Did I say that right? Perfect. Oh, bravo, Marco. And I'm here at the Rome Center in Rome, obviously. And Francesco was just giving uh, the lecture about uh, food, uh, a brief overview of Italian food to the architecture students who are here. And I wanted to ask you, why is food such an intrinsic part of the Italian culture? Why do you think, why is it important for architecture students to learn a little bit about food? I believe that this is important because you know the students uh, uh, are here not only to study architecture, but they're here in their study abroad uh, um, program, which for us it's a it's a it's a 360 degrees experience. Uh, so the intention behind this little presentation is to uh, pass them some some you know suggestions some. Uh, concepts that they're not here only to study the beauty you know, of the art, of the architecture, we are in a beautiful building as well, but they're in a country which, as you were saying, is extremely 
famous in the world for the kitchen, for the food. And we do believe that you know, a good, good food, good wine, it's part of the culture in this sense, and it's part of the experience. So it's a really it's a, an invitation to them to experience and to be curious about the, the you know, thousands of products, thousands of right. recipes, right. Um, in a, with, with a cultural approach, possibly. Right. That's what I think is so fascinating about Italy is that food is an intrinsic part of the experience here. You could have two construction workers for an hour at lunch discuss the quality of pasta, discuss the quality of their grandmother's lasagna, of the restaurant down the street, the way they do their prosciutto. And in America we don't necessarily have that sense of food. And here in Italy, food and art and music all fill your soul. There's a connection. I think all Italians feel that way about about food. Don't you think? I agree. I agree. Definitely. You know, one of the most uh, uh, typical. You know, even in, in Italian families. No, the the, the, the debate. Uh, we just we just passed Christmas. No, mm -hmm. and I was just mentioning this to the students. Uh, Italians are divided between people who are for the panettone and for the pandoro. Right. And you know, there are several types of these things that people really discuss in the family and. Uh, and yeah, I agree with you, I agree with you. And it's part of what makes Italians uh, famous in the world, I believe. I agree. As well as you know, the, 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 the funny and, 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 the, and the interesting rivalry with French. It's something that I was also uh, discussing with the students. You know, we are considered cousins in Europe, but right. we always you know, debate about the kitchen, who has the best cheese, who has the best wine, which in a certain way is positive because, uh, you know, um, um, helps the, 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 the culture yes. and uh, also the research eh? no? exactly. uh, in this field. Uh. Exactly. That's so I, um, I think I believe that this is a good experience for our students. I so. totally agree. I couldn't believe more. Thank you so much. Grazie, grazie, grazie tanto. I just love this sign. It is an advertisement for state museums and it says that you get free entry into all the state museums on the day of your birthday. I think that's pretty fantastic. I like that a lot. I wish it was my birthday.